Hello friends, thanks a lot for watching this video where I present you one special instrument, a 4-channel oscilloscope specially designed for the analysis and maintenance of installations based on variable speed drives and their motors, although of course it is also a fantastic general-purpose portable oscilloscope of 500 MHz and 4 channels. I'm going to show you the Fluke Motor Analyzer, MDA, 550. My name is Robert, and I hope this video is of interest to you, in that case don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to this channel and activate the notification bell. Let us begin. The first thing we have to do is remove the plastic bag that protects the flexible case in which the instrument comes. And if you are familiar with the Fluke 435 power quality analyzer, you'll see that the MDA 550 comes in a similar flexible case. Once we open the case, we can see some documentation about safety, about the charger, the statement of calibration practices, instructions, the activation key for the software and a document for registering the product. Now we can see the MDA 550 which is protected by bubble wrap and inside a plastic bag. If we take it out of the bag, we can see that the display is also protected by a plastic film, to prevent the screen from scratching. This is the power supply, also protected by bubble wrap. On one side, we have the cable with the connector to insert it into the instrument, and on the other side we have the cable with the power connector. The unit comes with different international plugs. The equipment includes three voltage probes model VPS 421, one red, one blue and one gray, with attenuation of 100 to 1. These probes are very robust, designed for industrial environments with a safety category of 1000 volts category 3, and 600 volts category 4, which allows the instrument to be connected even in the most dangerous area of our installation, that is, at the connection point of the electrical network, that is an area classified as category 4. These three probes will be used to measure the voltage at the input and output of the variable speed drive, allowing the detection of problems such as overvoltages, unbalances, harmonics, voltage reflections, etc. There is a fourth voltage probe, but in this case it is the model VPS 410 Revision 2, in red color, with an attenuation of 10 to 1. This probe will be used to measure the voltage on the motor shaft, which is caused by the high frequency of the inverter output signal. It is important to control this voltage, as it can damage the bearings of the motors. A long extension cable is also provided to facilitate connection of the reference of the probe to the motor housing. With this probe, the instrument will be able to count the current spikes to ground, that occur inside the motor bearings. To hold this shaft probe, it is provided a probe holder, to which an extension rod is attached. To make a good contact between the probe tip and the rotating shaft surface of the motor, three carbon brushes are also provided. These brushes will allow a safe contact at all times of the probe with the rotating metal shaft. The unit also includes a lithium-ion battery, model BP291, which is supplied uninstalled to prevent discharge during shipping. The battery includes an LED charge indicator, and provides a battery life of approximately 7 hours. A USB cable is also provided to download the data saved in the instrument's memory to a computer. Inside the case we also find a magnetic support that we will use to fix it on the iron body of the motor, so that the probe is perfectly fixed in the most suitable position to measure the voltage of the motor shaft. And since we don't have to hold it with our hands, the measurement is safer, and we can handle the instrument without problems. This magnetic attachment has a switch that enables or disables the internal magnet, in that way, it is very easy to attach and detach from the motor. It has a curved surface adapted to the curvature of the motor, and another flat surface so that it can be mounted, for example, on a flat surface of a nearby metal cabinet. This bracket includes two articulated rods that can be adjusted according to the required conditions. The supply also includes three AC current clamps, model I400S, which allow you to measure currents up to 400 amps. These current clamps are also rated category 4 600 volts and category 3 1000 volts, 
for measuring anywhere in the installation. These clamps have two ranges, 40 and 400 amps, which can be selected with a small switch and do not require any external power supply or batteries. These current clamps use a standard BNC connection, and that means that they can be used with other measurement instruments, such as power quality analyzers like the Fluke 435 series. The unit also includes a USB memory stick containing the Fluke View 2 software for scope meter, and the user manuals for the instrument and software. A strap is also included to hang or carry the instrument. Now that I have shown the scope of supply, I will also show you how to install the battery. Using a flat screwdriver, we turn the two screws on the back of the unit to its open position, so that the battery compartment cover can be opened. To replace it again we have to pay attention to the two tabs it has. At this time, it is highly recommended to fully charge the battery before using the instrument. For that, we will use the cable with the appropriate power connector. Now I am going to show you the VPS 421 probe and its accessories. As you can see, the tip can use 4mm banana attachments, such as alligator clips. And also the VPS 410 Revision 2 probe with its accessories. To use the extension cable with this probe, you can use one of the VPS 421 probe reference leads, that terminates in a 4mm banana plug. In this way, a long reference cable can be created, which can facilitate the connection of the probe that is applied on the motor shaft, in the case that we have a large motor. Now we can see how the carbon brush is mounted on the probe tip, and then how to insert the probe into the probe holder. We also see the use of the different reference cables according to the required length. Now it is the turn of the probe installation on the magnetic holder. With the three adjustments that the base has, we can modify the orientation of the two rods. To insert the probe holder, it is necessary to remove the accessory that appears in the second setting of the rod. If necessary, we can attach the rod extender to the probe holder to obtain a greater distance between the base and the carbon brush, in case we have to measure on a very large motor. To finish this video, I am going to show you very quickly also the specific menus that the MDA 550 has to analyze the input voltages and currents of the variable speed drive, the DC voltage and current of the DC bus, the output voltages and currents of the variable speed drive, the signals directly at the motor connections, and finally the voltage measurement on the motor shaft.
And so, we have reached the end of this presentation that I hope you have found interesting. If that is the case, don't forget to drop a like, so that I know that you liked it. In future videos I will discuss in more detail the measures that we can do with this instrument for the maintenance of installations based on variable speed drives, therefore, if you do not want to miss them, do not forget to subscribe to this channel and activate the notification bell. See you in a next video, bye.